بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to the next reminder from the companions of the Prophet peace and blessings on the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم on his family and Allah's blessings on his Sahaba رضي الله عنه um, I'd like to continue with a second story from Abdullah ibn Jash. Um, before we continue uh, with another story from Abdullah ibn Jash, just two lessons uh, which we can see from this story and which demonstrate the lessons that we take from the Sahaba as a community. Um, the first is as a community that they understood that the real life is the next life, the Akhirah, that is a life, that is a life which is um, not, not ending and on that basis they strove in this life, which is the second lesson. So the first lesson is that the real priority in their lives was to strive for the Akhirah and Allah's good pleasure. The second lesson is that they sought the Akhirah, the Jannah, through their actions for Allah and Allah's deen in this life. So they didn't neglect, they didn't sit back and become apathetic, um, but understood that this life is transient. Um, so this lesson, especially at this difficult time, uh, when uh, the coronavirus has spread um, worldwide and countries are in lockdown at the moment, uh, and many of our brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, um, and children may be being admitted, or our friends uh, that we know may be being admitted in this difficult time. We must understand that this is a reminder that actually this life is transient for us, and all of us, rich or poor, um, strong and weak, uh, elderly or young, we have to move on from this transit abode and continue uh, into the afterlife which is our true destination. With this in mind, I continue with another story from Abdullah ibn Jash. Um, so Abdullah ibn Jash, we uh, know from our previous story, was made the head of the first military expedition. Um, then Abdullah ibn Jash was also part uh, of the Battle of Badr. And in that, we know that the Muslims were successful um, in defeating the Quraysh. Um, the next battle, which is the Battle of Uhud, we learn of a special dua which Abdullah ibn Jash made, which underlines this seeking for the Akhirah. So uh, during the battle, um, when the battle was in its thickest, um, Abdullah ibn Jash met Saad ibn Abi Waqas, another Sahaba, and uh, he reminded Saad ibn Abi Waqas that we uh, should make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Saad ibn Abi Waqas, may Allah be pleased with him, made a dua that he would uh, meet uh, a warrior from the Quraysh and defeat him. And Abdullah ibn Jash made a dua that he would meet a warrior from the Quraysh and be shaheed and his face be mutilated. Um, so this is narrated by Saad ibn Abi Waqas. And after the battle, Saad ibn Abi Waqas said that Abdullah ibn Jash's prayer was stronger uh, because once the battle had been finished and Abdullah ibn Jash's body was found, his face had been mutilated. So this is how a demonstration, again, about how the Sahaba sought the Akhirah. Um, they did not fear death but understood that this was the doorway, the entry to the Akhirah, and that this life was temporary and is temporary for all of mankind. For all of us, uh, we have to move on. However rich or powerful, young or old we may be, that this life is something which is temporary, is transient, and we have to move on from this. And I pray that Allah um, keeps us uh, and all Muslims uh, strong and in Iman uh, in these difficult times and guides all of mankind 
uh, to his blessing, inshallah. Um, with that, jazakallah khair, all mistakes f- within this short reminder are my own, and all goodness is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakallah khair. Till we next meet um, and the next reminder, Allah protect you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.